Hey y'all, welcome back. This is your girl Phoenix Alexander and today we are going to have episode one of Chat with a Chunky Friend, okay? So, um... I basically wanted to integrate some conversations like I would have with my homegirls for any of y'all who are having life issues, relationship issues, whatever. Um, I think once I got sick and I became terminally ill, it really helped me to kind of see relationships, see my interactions with people in a completely different light. And after that, my relationship got so much better. Um, and that includes my relationships with my friends, my family members, everything. So we are just going to chat it up. So today's topic is going to be why a dime piece is single. Like, why, why are you single? Especially for my ladies who are like, oh, I got a degree. You know, I work out. My body is... Thang thangin. <laughs> um, and you want to know, why the hell are you still single? All right, girl, we're going to get into it, okay? Or boy, we're going to get into it because this applies both ways, honey. As long as you are um, looking to be the feminine role in that relationship, this advice will apply to you. You're a dime. Why the hell are you single? That's a damn good question. Now, you didn't took this time. You have refined and forged yourself in the fires of life. So you have gone out. You got that degree. You might have that master's degree. Hell, you might have that doctorate degree. By the way, y'all, I do have a shirt on. It's just me colored. I don't know why the hell I put this on, but it is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> you have gone. You have gotten your degree. You got your shit together. You probably went out and you got a bomb job. You're driving a nice car. You're living in your own place. You went and got your body tightened up. You look in everything. You got that BBL. I wish I could. I wish I could. But you got that BBL. And so you look in everything. And you're like, yo, why am I single? Like, what is up with these dudes? What is going on? Honey... You have over-refined yourself. Um, there's such a thing as doing too much. Just like with anything that's good for you in this world, too much of anything can be toxic. So you have basically made yourself into an unattainable, unkeepable, unpleasurable, not unpleasurable in the fact that you don't provide pleasure, but in the, in the way that a person cannot completely satisfy you or pleasure you in this situation. So what's a man to do? Like, realistically speaking, when we get into relationships, it doesn't matter if you are the spearhead of that relationship. Um, if you basically, you know, move all the cogs in that relationship, or if you are a Stepford wife. At the end of the day, everybody needs to have a role, have a place, have a job. If you have gone and you have refined yourself to the point of where you're like, oh, hell, I'm perfect, so... All you have to do is just show up because I'm perfect. No, girl, that ain't all he has to do. That ain't all he has to do. Because now you need him to slay a dragon, ride a pegasus, um, use the head of Medusa to kill the kraken, all of this stuff to impress you. And I understand. I don't... Shut your mouth, girl. I know what you're going to say. I don't need all that. I don't. I don't need a man who's going to do all of that. I just need someone who's going to love me. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. The men know you lying. I know you lying. Yo ass know you lying. Stop being in denial, sis. You are now used to driving in your brand new Lexus truck. You are used to 
getting those bags yourself. So when your man can't afford to go and get you that bag or he can't afford to, you know, do whatever you need him to do that's on that level that you're at, like, he might not have spent the last 29 years of his life envisioning how he was going to be the baddest bitch on the block. <laughs> and keep in mind, men have different tiers of, you know, rating than we do, okay? So for us, we're just like, <laughs> degree, check. <laughs> oh, uh, my body is banging, check. Like, I know my pussy's good. Check. Um, let's see. I am so smart. I am so independent. I got three degrees. Um, I got a six-figure job. Look at this body. Yeah, I am everything. Now, you just listed your whole damn resume, sis, and it's just like, yeah. That's great on paper. But personality-wise... You snappy as shit. You real quick to an argument. You real quick to let everybody know that you don't need them because you got all your shit on your own and you'll do it again like you did it before. <laughs> and nobody wants to hear that. And even if a man is not bringing in, you know, six, seven figures a year, nobody wants to come home to somebody who doesn't respect them. Nine times out of 10, they got a job where somebody at that job is shitting on them all day or trying to emasculate them or trying to talk to them some kind of way. So when they come home or when they get with their girl, they don't want to know the situation that's going to make them feel like shit. If your man is taking care of you, if he's paying bills, I don't give a fuck if it's only one bill. It's one bill that you don't have to pay. So it's like you still have to make sure that your catering to your man and his ego because it gets hit all day long it's just like why you don't have those expense reports todd pow oh todd thinks he all that because he got a little power at work pow and then you're like todd I asked you to get the goddamn milk and the cheese <laughs> i go keep telling your ass to get the milk and the cheese todd and he's just like ah i don't come home. I hate it here. <laughs> Y'all, if you think about it that way and you say to yourself, I know at some point, let's face it, if your man is black, <laughs> if your man is black or brown or dusty or <laughs> anything other than white, you best believe he's clashing all day long it is some level of dominance having to take place at work somebody even if, if he's the manager then you know it's about 15 females in there it's just like i don't know why you telling me what to do shit he might be the manager and, and i might be getting paid to listen to what he do and he says and i might be he might be asking me to do my actual job, which is in the description, but I'd be damn if I'm going to have him tell me to do my job. <laughs> and y'all know how y'all are. That's probably some of y'all <laughs> who are just like, oh, this stupid ass manager ain't going to tell me how to do my job. That same poor stupid ass manager <laughs> has to go home to his girl. And if his girl is not somebody that's just like, wow, I really appreciate that you were taking care of this light bill and, you know, you were making sure we got groceries in this house. I appreciate you going out and fighting that fight every day, babe, to get money in this house. He gonna be gone. And I don't blame him. I'll catch you later. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And hit me down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this topic. You know, let me know. Is this you so far or do you think you'll be on video too? Bye.